Now be honest friends, how many of you guys were hanging on just to make sure I didn't fall off that lug? Guys, in this video, we're checking out the Bean Boots by LL Bean. Friends, we're seeing if these boots made by the Mainers up in Brunswick, Maine are gonna handle the Colorado winters. Now guys, snow is snow, but I thought it'd be fun to take these up to the Rocky Mountains and see how they perform. Now friends, we're gonna talk about the build quality and construction later on in this video, but first, let's go put them to the test. So friends, these boots, the LL Bean boot has been around since like 1912, guys. With such an iconic company, I just had to put it on my channel. So friends, we're out here running the dogs, having a great time. And usually whether it's my Thursday Captains or my Red Wing Roughnecks, guys, my feet would be freezing by now. They have amazing grip and they perform well but I'm in the deepest snow and they're just doing amazing. I don't know about my dog's feet, but I'm having a blast. And so I got the 10 inch boots. They come in six inch, eight inch. They have a whole different line with that duck boot look. And I could see why up in New England, these are the boots that you could just throw on every single day and be set. I have a bunch of different applications for these boots, whether I'm up here getting firewood, running the dogs, just out shoveling snow. These are gonna be my go-to boots. Uh, I'm able to lace them up just fine. Again, if I had maybe my everyday boots, I always like a set of speed hooks so I can get in there and get it done quickly. But I don't mind that because it's not something I'm wearing on every occasion. But when I need something warm, I can guarantee you I'm gonna be pulling for these guys. All right, friends, let's get into the build of these things. Now, guys, these haven't made the big debut in the Colorado, at least not in my area like they deserve. But up in New England, I could totally see these fulfilling the claim by L.L. Bean that it's the only boot a guy could need. Now, guys, these are so versatile. Again, I got the size 11. Now, I wear a size 12 in men's and regular tennis shoes and stuff, and I'm really happy I sized a full size down. I always just get so apprehensive, you know? It just feels weird, like why can't you just do a 12 as a 12? But guys, go ahead and size down. That worked really good for me. I got enough room to go ahead and put a full big old heavy winter sock in here as well. And so they're also not too uncomfortable when I'm wearing a light duty sock. It fit really good for me. Now friends, about how these things are made, again, they're up in Maine. They're proudly made in America and they're still working the shops up there. And friends, not that I'm a Mainer, but I finally made my way all the way up northeast to Maine just in the end of 2020. And I love that state. I fell in love with it. I know my wife and I will be spending a lot more time up there. So these guys are still made. This line, the LL Bean Boot, is still made up in Maine. The top is made with that premium full grain leather and the inside is lined with that shearling. And so guys, this is something that I was so excited about. It's just as cozy as the pictures make it look and it really just keeps my leg warm. I'm really excited. I went with the 10 inch because I really wanted a warm winter boot that I can traipse through snow. Guys, we get a lot of snow up here in Colorado and I wanted to make sure all the way up was covered. And so I'm really happy about that. Going back to that thought of it being an everyday New England boot, I'd probably go eight inch or something a little bit lower than the 10 inch. But guys, for what I'm doing, I bought this boot, maybe not as an everyday boot, but to traipse around out in the woods, out in the snow, go sledding, have a good time, walk the dog. 
and so I couldn't be happier just to go where I want to go. Guys, they bragged that this boot might be the warmest ever. So they have different ratings and this was way down there. So I just went for the warmest I could get. Now they have different color options. Probably the classic that you guys would really recognize is more of the tan upper, but the bottom is going to be the same. Now guys, the laces seem really durable. I haven't had them long, so this isn't a year long review on how the laces held up. Uh, but comparing them to some Red Wings and some Thursday boot options, I really think they look pretty stout. And then coming down the bottom of these boots are lined with Thinsulate. And so that makes these suckers stay really warm. When you're traipsing through snow in the negative temperatures, I have really found that these guys are holding up really well. And then it has that really special outsole. Now guys, this is signature to LL Bean. Looks like little chain links. And this is surprisingly grippy. Now it's not gonna be in all situations. Uh, so I'm trying to stay with that theme that LL Bean puts out as an everyday boot. Guys, I don't know, there's nothing like a Vibram outsole that has that big old lug, you know, tough and rough, but these held up better than I thought. It's just the rubber on them is actually really grippy. It's like grippier rubber than some rubber. It's like grippier rubber than some rubber. And then it has a really nice heel. And so you can actually climb a ladder safely or do other things that you need to do and have that good support there. So in the midsole, they actually put a steel shank in there and that's gonna give you lots of good support while you're walking. And then they have a little liner in there. And so here's that liner. Of course, it's something that you could replace as it goes out, put your Dr. Scholl's in there or whatever you need, uh, but it has a nice little footbed there and I'm excited to see how it forms to my foot. Another thing they boast is that triple stitching and that's really noticeable when you see the boot right out of the box you're noticing the stitching. And so again, American Pride Company, still made up in Maine, triple stitches. This outsole is really hard to beat. That's awesome for a good winter boot, a duck boot, and then the full grain leather up top is gonna be something that you can protect and care for and condition. Uh, the shearling liner is just phenomenal, so I'm loving that. Guys, I really needed a warm winter boot. I'm a Coloradan. I live in, sometimes Alamosa has the coldest temperatures in the nation. And so I live at 7,500 feet. It just gets ridiculous cold here. And I haven't had a good set. So this is the gentleman's journey. I'm taking you guys along with me. You know, this probably should have been one of my earlier boots, but I figured a bunch of you guys would like to see a video about these because guys, maybe this isn't something that I do throw on every day. But when I go out, I just, that's one less thing I have to think about. And I think LLB knocked it out of the park on this one. They really just put together a fantastic boot. I don't think you need to go anywhere else. Of course, I couldn't help but take a peek at Sorel and I was really thinking of a couple of those, but my mind and my imagery of a winter boot just comes right back to this LLB. So I was super stoked to get it gonna be happier with it and I highly recommend it. Now guys, if you wanna get a set, I really recommend that you join their email list because you get 10% off. Uh, so make sure and sign up for that and then you can use that on your first order. Guys, these came in at a really decent price. I got them on sale. I fully expect to be wearing them 10 years from now. Uh, again, size a size down and they're gonna fit you just right. So guys, that's what we're doing over here at the Gentleman's Journey. I hope you like this journey. Guys, as we take you along with us in 2021, we're gonna be buying a bunch more boots. If you have any ideas of what kind of boots you think we should try out next, make sure and drop a comment below. Guys, we hope you'll like and subscribe to our channel. It's just gonna make YouTube all crazy about us. They're gonna like us. Uh, so friends, we appreciate that. We appreciate all the engagement. If you haven't yet, consider checking us out on Facebook. We got a growing little community there, able to answer some questions from time to time. Of course, just check it out, Gentleman's Journey. We're on Instagram and whatnot as well. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to strap those boots on and hey, give them some conditioning from time to time. We'll see you in the next one.